All right, for today's project, you need to open up the Autodesk Sketchbook app. So find your Play Store if you haven't downloaded this already, and it might already be in the front screen. If not, type in Sketchbook, click on Enter, and if you have it installed, it'll say Open or it'll say Install here. You want to click Yes and Allow for everything. Once you open it up, you might be on a screen where you had another drawing, so you're going to click on the menu button at the top left, click on new sketch, screen. Okay, so I'm going to pinch in a little bit so you can see my whole picture. We're going to be doing a shoe project, so you can minimize this, get to the internet, and then type in a shoe brand that you really like, or a specific shoe if you, there's a style that you like. Vans. I'm going to do Vans, a Vans shoe. So you're going to Google up your shoe that you want to do. Click on images and find the style that you like. So it might not be like a pattern or design, but like see how this style is different than this style with the laces or no laces. So it's really up to you. Um, go ahead and pick out the shoe that you want to do. If there's one that has one shoe, that would probably be easiest, but two shoes wouldn't be too bad. You would just ignore the second shoe. I'm going to do one that has two shoes just so I can show you what to do with the shoe. All right, so I'm going to click on this one here. So click on it one time, then you're going to use two fingers to clip it. That would be easier. Save image as. So I'm going to write shoe picture. Save. Okay. Then you're going to go back to Autodesk Sketchbook click out of this and you're going to go to the mountains with the plus sign and once it loads up give it a second to load up it's automatically going to bring up downloads and it might be right there or go to recent and since you saved it as something else you can see it right in there. I'm going to click on open and here you want to pinch out to try and make the shoe almost as big as the picture screen you have here. So I'm going to turn it a little bit because the shoe in the picture is already on an angle. So I'm going to probably turn it here and again try and make it as big as the screen. Then I'm going to click on done. All right so now, if you want to, you can use the eraser tool and erase a little bit of that other shoe if it's bothering you. Again, we're going to draw a different layer on top of it. So see, I just erased the shoe. That wasn't a good idea. Um, but if it's really driving you crazy, you can just do a little bit of erasing, but not too, too much. So I'm just going to leave it right like this and then get started. Okay. So this layer that you're on, drag it down so it's underneath, and then you want to click on the layer above it so that way it's blue. So that way you can draw on top of the shoe and not directly on top. So think of it like tracing paper. Then I'm going to go to the pen tool and play around with size. I'm going to just draw a line there. I like that size. So I'm at like, what, 3.81. So around there, you can always click on here. 3.9 and you can drag it here too. So let's just go with four. That sounds good. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your time and you're going to trace the details of the shoe. So definitely start with the outline first. Then you're going to do the laces and then you can do some detailing too. You can click on the shoe, the shoe layer, and for the opacity, you can slide it down so that way it's see-through. So that way, because especially mine's a black shoe, that way I can see what I've drawn. And you can go ahead and pinch and zoom. Make sure you're on their other layer. And start tracing. It's okay if it's not perfect. Try and get as close as you can to each layer.
Now we basically have the outline of the shoe and now we're going to work on laces. So you're going to zoom in and just capture each shape of the lace. All right, now that the laces are done, we just have to tackle the shoe that's in between the laces. Right, now let's get rid of your layers so you see what the shoe looks like. And then you go back and clean stuff up. It needs to be clean. And there you have your shoe. Okay, let me get rid of this one part over here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new layer. We're gonna drag this one underneath the shoe drawing. Okay, so on your layer, you're gonna click on the selection tool, use the lasso, tolerance, and then make sure it's on add. Then you're going to click on the layers you'd like to color in with your first color of your shoe. Okay, and then I'm going to select these in between. So once it's selected, click on another layer and you can draw right on the shoe. So play around with different colors. It depends. Um, so. Ooh, this gives us some nice texture. And just continue to play around with colors, different brushes, adding different textures to your shoe, just to get an idea of what you like. So again, this is just kind of a practice play time until you decide what you want to do for your final. Just try out different things and have fun. When you're ready to color a different part of your shoe, click on the selection tool and click on the box with the X on the right and that will deselect everything. You can also hide the layer that you just colored on just to see what it looks like. Go back to the original drawing layer, click black on selection with the lasso with the add and then click on the new parts of the shoe that you would like to color. So each space you'd like to color for this next part, you're going to select then make sure you go back to that layer that's underneath that's in color and go ahead and play around again some more. All right, now that I demonstrated how to make the ugliest shoe, you can always hide that layer, add a new layer, and now that you've had time to practice, keep that other layer hidden, and on the new layer, you can start your final shoe. So click on the selection tool, lasso, make sure it's on add, click on the certain sections you'd like to color, and you can break it down even more now. So last time I colored the full front of the shoe, maybe this time I'm just gonna color the front of the shoe and the back of the shoe the same and make the middle different. So have fun selecting, coloring, and then I'll show you a little bit later how to add some designs. The laces can be a little bit tricky to select, so make sure you pinch to zoom in, get nice and close, so it's easier to select each shoelace. Next up, I'm going to show you how you can add details on top of your design that you created. Go back to your original drawing, click on the selection tool, make sure you're on lasso and add, and click on the layers that you want to add a design on top of color. Once you're selected, make sure you go back to your original color layer, pick which color you'd like to do, and you can go ahead and make some designs or details on top of your shoe.
You can keep the sole of the shoe white, or if you want to, you can select your drawing layer and select the sole, and you can color it. So I chose to use the color I dropped to make it the same color as my laces, so I just drug that over top to capture that color, and then I colored it in the same as my laces. Once you're happy with all the detailing, the last step is to zoom in and really get the space in between the laces. So there's the lace part that you need to get and then the part that's actually the tongue of the shoe. So zoom in a lot. Go back to your drawing layer. Make sure you select the pieces you would like to do and go ahead and color those in as well. The last step is a two-way save. Click on the menu button choose gallery, save current sketch. This will save it to the program on your computer. Click on menu, share, save to device. Here you're going to title the name of your art so that way you can easily find it again. So you want to keep the .png at the end but get rid of sketch and all those numbers afterwards. And you can call it my shoe, your name in your shoe, whatever you wish, just something that's easy for you to be able to come back and find in your files and then you click on save and you did it. Congratulations. I can't wait to see your shoes.